me a favor, do me a favor. I know we've been sitting for a little bit. Stretch your arms up really, really high. Stretch them up really, really high. Go out to just like this. So there you go. One, two, three, four, five. Five more, ready to go. One, two, three, four, five. Five more, ready to go. One, two, three, four, five. Shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. Turn to somebody close to you, even though you're by yourself. Turn your head to somebody close to you and say, you are amazing. <laughs> you are amazing. Thank you, Kelly. It looks like you just said it. Sitting in your chair this morning, processing through these powerful messages. How are you turning the pains that you've been experiencing this year, the pains that those around you have been experiencing, how are you turning them into pearls? A nice moment in time for you to sit with somebody, to, to converse with somebody and let them know with all the things that are going on right now, that they're still in your mind. Leading at a distance about being intentional. And their names just happen to be Firewater and Trust. And one day, Firewater and Trust decide that they're going to leave the village. They're going to go out on their own. They're going to they're going to start a new life. And the villagers came running to them, and they said, "No, you cannot leave. We need you. We got to have you. What if you're gone, and and we need you? Where will we find you?" And Fire was the first to speak up. And Fire said, "Hey, if you ever need to find me, look toward the sky. When you see smoke, you know I'm nearby." Water was the second to speak up, and Water said, "It's easy to find me too. If you're looking for me." Just look to where the grass is green, where there's animals around, wherever there is life, you will find water and water left. And Trust was the third to speak up. And Trust said, you better keep your eye on me because once you lose me, you'll never find me again. That's the message this morning that Bill's been sharing with you. That's the message this morning that Kelly's been sharing with you. And how pearls are created is whenever the oysters and the mussels get a particle inside of them, what is referred to as an irritant, something that is not supposed to be there. And what that oyster or mussel does is it then responds to that irritant and it covers it with a composite. It covers it with this substance, right? So it sees it and it's a that irritant, it feels it, and it, and, it, and it creates a defensive mechanism around it. What are we talking about, about the defensive mechanism around pains that you experience? What we're talking about is the people that are in your life. What are you gonna do with it? 